Well, greeting my friends and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility in Delmont, Pennsylvania, where we treat people, we do not treat diagnoses and taking a holistic approach of mind, body, and spirit. My name is Jim Ellermeyer, I'm a behavioral health therapist. And today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... I'm Joe, a PA student from Chatham University. And on my right... I'm Lauren, I'm a PA student from Seton Hill University. So tell me, uh, Lauren, it looks like somebody's been walking all over you. That's what it looks like. You seem to have footprints all over you, and Joe, you seem to have footprints all over you. Mm -hmm. So what we do here on these weekly educational rounds is attempt to bring some real tangible type of information that you can incorporate into your life, uh, not just saying jump rope, it's good for you. We actually incorporate the, some of these things into our daily life. So when this is an illustration about having these footprints on your life, and sometimes, sometimes when we walk through life, we accumulate many footprints in our life. Do we not? Mm -hmm. We certainly accumulate many footprints. You have, you have a few on you. Do I you have not? a couple. Yeah. Not. That kind of looks like an army marched over me, but uh, I don't, but that's uh, beside the point. So what we want to do is find out how we can recognize these attachments and get uh, get rid of them. So how about holding the rocks in your hand? So do you have any idea how the, how poachers, how people uh, capture monkeys? Capture monkeys and chimpanzees. Bananas. Bananas, they do in bananas. However, what they do is they put, they make a cage, okay? And sometimes we construct our, our, our own life, we construct our own cage in our lives. And when they put, they put a banana, they put something desirable for the monkey, the chimpanzee, whatever, inside that cage. And when they stick their hand in, it's only big enough for their hand. So when they put their hand in and they grasp the banana and try to pull it out, what happens? Pull their hands out. What happens? You can't pull it out, right? Did you ever feel stuck in your life, Lauren? Sure. Absolutely. Did you ever feel stuck in your life, Joe? Oh, yeah. Sure. But unfortunately, what we can't ask people to do, we, can, we can't have them drop the rock. So what I'd like you to do is think of some of the attachments in the life that you have. Maybe to alcohol, maybe to drugs, maybe to cigarettes, maybe to relationships, maybe to gambling, maybe, maybe codependency, any type of attachment that you have that's holding you back in your life. That, 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 that you, and people saying, drop the rock. So remember, everyone is in recovery from something, from something. And when the recovery boat comes and they say, well, 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 we'd love to have you on there. However, you're too heavy. You're carrying too many rocks. Can you drop the rock? And that's what most people can't do. They can't drop the rock. So what happens when you drop the rock? And you can pull your hands back and get on with your life. Can you not? Absolutely. So to get on that recovery boat, you have to drop that rock. You have to drop the, the drop the rocks. So what I'd like everyone out there to do is treat your life as a business. Treat your life as a business, Joe and Lauren, and perhaps take some inventory. Take some inventory. And I would suspect there's many things in your inventory that haven't sold for a long time, okay, that no one really wants. However, the question is, we keep holding on to them. We keep holding on to them. So what we want to do, let's say that these, these attachments are like eggs, okay? And eggs are wonderful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're very good. I like eggs a lot. And they're, and they're good food. They're very nutritious. However, if you keep putting eggs into a refrigerator and you put, keep putting them in and putting them in and never using them, eventually what's going to happen to those eggs? Probably get rotten. They get rotten. And what happens to rotten eggs? They stink. They stink. So sometimes sometimes that, 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 that type of odor that permeates throughout our life, okay? And when we finally make that examination and open that kitchen, open that refrigerator door, what happens? Whoosh. Whoosh. We're kind of overwhelmed by the by the smell, right? So what we like to do is what we ask people to do is when we say take up take up a, a self evaluation, perhaps at the end of every day, at the end of every week, and Discard, discard the unsaleable goods. Discard some of those things in your life that are holding you back. Discard some of these footprints that that keep walking all over you, that keep keep you back, keep you back. So, remember the recovery boat. Remember all my friends out there. It, Take inventory of your life. What 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 stones are you holding on to? What rocks are you holding on to? When the recovery boat comes, are you going to be light enough to get on it? I would suggest that everyone take a self-evaluation today and imagine what, what type of rocks do you have in your hands, what type of footprints do you have in your life. And I would suggest that you 
drop the rock. That's the suggestion for today is drop the rock. And as always, at the end of every podcast, we offer a free prescription, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without beta life, without definitive expectations. And as always, your assignment is to do a kindness for another and to do a kindness for yourself. Until then, namaste. Thank you for joining us.